Hey everyone, welcome back to this web episode. So in this tutorial, we are going to start by introducing and understanding Kale. And so first of all, let's take a look why we are going to use Kale Vision. Then after that, we need to have an overview um, so we understand the why, and then let's deep dive a little bit in the Kale and understand what are the features of this fantastic program. Finally, we will do a software and package installation. Okay, so first of all, why are we using the Kale Vision? So everyone is hearing about other programs. Famously, there is the Arduino, there is the new version 2.0 that is coming and which is which looks very good. There is also the ST software, which is the official um, company software that is making the STM32. And also, on the other hand, uh, some people are using the MicroPython and saying that using Python is the best. So actually for me, um, the Arduino is a, a little bit too basic. So you don't understand what's going on in the background. It's quite good to develop um, the stuff that you um, that you, you would like to make it quickly, but it's quite basic. The ST software is also quite nice, very good, but it's really specific to the STM product. Then finally, the MicroPython. Generally, I enjoy doing Python, but not knowing what's going on between from Python to the C going to the software, let me always worry about some inefficiencies that can happen within my program. Okay, so saying so, um, let's say why we are using it. So first, this is the Kale UVision 5. This is the picture that I tried to find. It's not a perfect one. It's even I think it's not a beautiful one, but this is the logo of the Kale. And there's another logo actually, and it's this one. It's much better. And but there is something extremely important. This is tools by ARM, the red, the red one. And this is the ARM. This is the um micro the microprocessor making company. It's huge. The new um MacBook are made through um ARM processor. The um the Raspberry Pi are using uh, ARM processor, so they're really huge and big. And Kale is the program or the software that they are using to program their stuff. So first of all, we do have this Kale program is covering more than 9,000 MCUs and more than 20 MCU makers. So if you learn how to use Kale, you'll be learning to use not only the STM32, but a lot of makers, a lot of other products. So it's a really wide and big software that will help you to program a lot of other devices. Also, it's a dedicated environment for embedded development, and we will see it in the next chapter. We will learn and see all the features that Kale have and that will be very helpful to, to, to program. Finally, it includes extra modules and rich documentation. So within Kale, and we will see it later on, you can have the documentation of your uh, of your module directly when you choose it, and you will see it how it goes through the installation. Okay, so now that we understood the why, let's go and start having overview about the Kale Uvision. So first of all, it's a text editor. So as you can see here in this one, so for, you can arrange the file that you are using. There is some coloring here, so it's not VS Code, it's not that, that good, but you do have some colors indication of what you are using. You can hide and show some code, which is quite a very useful feature by the end of the day. And that's that's a simple, but more than enough. So you do have numbers and stuff that is quite in a different colors, and this is helpful to, to make your program, um, like to, to understand better your program. Also, it makes the assembler code. So this is, and this is a program that we are going to write later on. This is written in C. So all of it is a C or H file, but you do have the ability to save and create from C the assembly code. And we will see it quite soon. So that, that's that's a quite a, also a big advantage on having Kale. So you don't have to bring other programs to convert from C to, to another program, to C to assembler. This Kale will do everything for you. And after that, they will do the compiler. Compiler is the, the code that goes into the machine and will program all the micro 
the devices inside the microcontroller and let them do what you want to do. So, and to do so, so you just go here, for example, this is just an example, and you put the rebuild, and you see it, it doing all the compiling here for you. So that's something that helps you, and you don't need any program for that. Everything is within the same program, which is the kale. After that, we do have the loader. And to see the loader, so we do have here a microcontroller that you see here. And what we are going to do is we are able to load our program. So this program will make the microcontroller that you can see here blinking every half of a millisecond. So if I load here, so I have here, and everything has been loaded. And you can see now my microcontroller is loading. And that's fantastic. So we are doing a lot of things, a lot of things using the same one program. And that's fantastic. Then add debugger. So one of the super, super important feature that I enjoy with Kale, that it allows the um, hardware that you do use for loading also to make the debugging. And debugging means that you are inside the microcontroller. So let me show you a quick example to have a better idea. So by pushing this debug here, let me close this one, and I can control and see what's going on. So first of all, you can see that the microcontroller is not anymore blinking, and I will start running the stuff. I would like to stop it here. So by putting this red dot here, it will stop. And let's see together what happened when I go to the next step. So now it's blinking and I click again, it's not. So I am able to see where my program is going and stopping. And sometimes when the program does not behave as we expect, this is extremely useful behavior to have. So let's go out from this one. And there's another feature that the Kale have, and this is one of the feature that will help you if you don't have the hardware itself. And it's a simulator. So you can choose, instead of debugging here using your real hardware, you can use a simulator and click here. And by doing this, and by going to debug again, by doing like this, you can see your simulator working. So if I run it, and I do like this, I can check every step. So here there is a read permission. This is something that we can update later on. This is, there is a, some trick to do to change the simulator that we will see later on how to can use, okay? So those are the features that Kale provide to, to give you really a big advantage to, to make by using one software to, to, to be a really a good embedded programmer. Okay, so we have been seeing a quick an overview about the Kale. So I think it's a good time now to install uh, the software and also the packages. For the installation this time, I took a whole like empty PC, uh, recently formatted, and I will start making the installation directly on this one. So if there is any trouble or something new, we can see it together and I'll show you the way how to solve it. So let's go to Mozilla and just put um, like Kale download or just um, simple Kale or Uvision. And let's switch to English and Kale download. That should straightforward take you to that download product. And after that, you will have to download the MDK ARM. Then here, this is straightforward. You just put the information here. Uh, you put the name, email, all these informations. And you should have, after inputting all this, you will get a link for downloading the, the file. So I will input this information now. And after that, I will get back to you when uh, I will get the link. And here we got the link. So we now we can just click on it and that should immediately trigger the download. So you can see this is a quite a big download. And even here in Japan, there is a strong um, board rate connection, but this will take maybe one hour and two. So um, let's see how much it will take and I will get back to you later. So it took me around two hours to download the file. And so let me now 
uh, run it and install it. So we go here and we can run as administrator. Okay, we put yes. We can close, I think, this one. And this will be a very straightforward installation until we get the um, until we get some package to install. So we just put view here, company will be view, and I think for the email that would be a view, just a view for the way. Okay, so here that will be a long bars of installation. I can like keep talking the whole video, that would be annoying, but I would enjoy it, of course, talking to you guys, but I will let this quickly run and I will get back when it finish. Okay, open, like finish the whole installation. We do have this package installer here, and this will start downloading all the packages, not installing, but showing you all the packages. So you just put okay, you don't have to worry about this. And, but it will be updating the list of uh, new packages that are related to all these companies. So as you can see, and as we have discussed at the beginning of the introduction video, this is company names that are using the ARM architecture for, for their chips. So it's there's a lot of companies, a lot of devices, like Microchip is already having 566 um, devices. So there is a lot of devices. This one, Nubuton is 820. NXP is 1,365. So the number of devices here, yeah, STM, I think this they are the bigger one using 1,880. And this is what we are targeting this time. So we are going to the STM, but for our exercise only, we are targeting the STM 32F4 series. So this is the only one that we are going to install, but this already has been installed because I think it's my previous version and this should be okay. So if you don't have this one installed, you just click on install, same as this one, and wait that things get installed um, by itself. Okay, after finishing this, you can close this one and close this, and you have the Kale Vision uh, ready to, to run. So just to check that everything has went well, so let's go here and go for New Vision, New Project, and we can go to the, uh, just go for the desktop, and we can open here, so we can put it uh, like Hello View, the, our first project. This is just to check if all works well, and my project name will be Hello View. So up and pushing Save, I'm seeing my STM Electronics families here, and I have to be very precise and accurate about the microcontroller that I'm using. And we will be using a lot of type of microcontroller in the STM32 F4 families. Let's try one example, the STM32 F4. So we do have uh, that already there, but we are going to use the F407, for example, and then VG. So by putting this one, we can click here on the detailed microcontroller. Fortunately for us here, there's only one model. And by clicking like this, we do have the list of available drivers. This is the kind of libraries that can be immediately used, but as we are going to build everything from scratch and learn how a microcontroller works, we are going to use only two driver. So the first one is not this one, the Kimsys driver. We are just going to use the core library. This is like a library that manage really the interrupt and really the basic things. And also the startup, the device startup, this is just to, to make to, to run the um, the clock and that's all. This is the two um, component that we are going to add to our library. And by pushing enter here, we have the whole thing ready. It complains a little bit about the, compli uh, the compiler, but so far there is no issue at all. So we can take a look. There is no file created at this moment, which is totally fine, but we do have our kill here. And just one last, um, check up to see how, how useful it is. If you go here, you can find all the documentation related to the STM32 F4, the one that we selected. So if I double click here, this will open. I do not have the add-up. This is really a new 
uh, PC so we can run this one and you can see we do have the documentation for our for our microcontroller which is fantastic so we even can work online uh, offline on this one here the list of functions that will be uh, shared and this one will be shared later on those files are extremely important and very helpful on what we are going to do uh, later on so that's all for this video i hope you enjoyed it so we we went through the simple kale installation if you find any like troubles or you have any difficulties in your installation, I'd be very happy to, 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 to support you. Just put a line within the uh, comment area and let's start our journey.